Thank you again for, for uh, the wonderful lecture today. Can you tell us your name, title, organization, and the topic you discussed? Sure. Um, so my name is Kendra Johnson. Um, I'm from Midwest High Speed Rail. I'm the program manager there. Uh, we're a nonprofit advocacy organization um, here in Chicago. Um, we're primarily concerned with promoting passenger train service in the Midwest and beyond, really. Great. Well, we know that you talked about trains today, but can you give us a little bit uh, more context to what your lecture was about and perhaps give us some of the key takeaways from today? Sure. Um, we talked about a lot of things. We actually had some really great discussions, especially towards the end. Um, we talked about um, what the current situation is in the U.S. in terms of high-speed rail projects. Um, we talked a little bit about California's situation, some of the hurdles they've had to get over, um, and how Illinois in particular can learn from some of their different complications and things that they've had to encounter during that project. Um, Illinois is poised to have some really cool um, transportation projects happening if um, a decent amount of funding is allocated in the next capital bill. We haven't had a capital bill since 2009, so this is a really important moment that we find ourselves in, and we're just hoping that people are able to convey to their elected, leader, elected leaders how important transit and um, passenger train service is to their communities, um, and then we'll see what happens. We're excited for some of the possibilities. Thank you. As you know, uh, the University of Illinois has multiple different campuses. One right here in Chicago. Thank you for lecturing here. <laughs> we also have the campus in Champaign-Urbana and in Springfield, among others. Um, can you tell us how uh, the university might be able to encourage uh, more utilization of trains, say, to and from Chicago to Champaign-Urbana or Springfield? So there is definitely a great opportunity that exists, especially given U of I's different campus locations um, in terms of sharing resources and talent and having those different components be able to be shared without having to travel that distance by car. Um, we actually have a student chapter of Midwest High Speed Rail at um, UIUC, yeah, UIUC. Um, and they're pretty active. Uh, they've partnered with a lot of different transportation groups down there, some more um, of the rail industry groups that they've got going, and then different sort of transportation-oriented um, clubs. So that's been a cool development. Um, we're trying to get those sort of connections at different campuses across the Midwest. Um, so that's definitely something that we can explore with U of I's different campuses in Chicago and Springfield as well. Um, U of I's uh, assistant president, Timothy Killeen, signed on in support of the Illinois Fast Track Initiative. Um, so that's a really important way that the university can show publicly that they want these types of investments to happen because it's important to their student body, because it's important to their faculty, um, and it's important to the communities that their campuses are in. Um, so. Those are just a few of the ways, um, and if anyone needs to find more information about it, um, we have it on our website, it's midwesthsr.org, and uh, you can go to the Illinois Fast Track page. Right. You mentioned that there's a chapter for the Midwest High Speed Rail Association mm -hmm. at UIUC. Is there also one at UIC? And if not, what do we need to do to uh, encourage one happening here on campus? Um, basically, the, our current chapter at UIUC is the only chapter, it's the first student chapter that we've started. Um, it kind of is a pilot for how we want these to go across the Midwest. Um, if you want to have one started here, we just need one interested student who is gung-ho about it and is willing to work with us on getting that started up. You know, it can be anything as intense as, you know, us sending different speakers to campus to talk to um, students in your club and getting people to come to those meetings to 
just meeting and talking about Grail very casually and you know having us stop by every once in a while. So it kind of serves all levels of interest, um, but if you're interested, reach out to our organization. We're really happy to support um, young people, young bright minds who are uh, uh, passionate about rail and transportation. Wonderful. Well, thank you for answering all these questions and giving us so much insight. Now for one last fun question. What is your favorite mode of transportation and why? Um, my favorite mode of transportation is probably the L here in Chicago, mostly because I use it every day. <laughs> and so it's, you know, it's a utility, but uh, I think there's a certain sense of nostalgia because I grew up in the suburbs, never really took trains, and then I came to the city for college. I went to DePaul, and um, I kind of just fell in love with being able to explore the entire city without having to even necessarily know where I was going because the train would take me there and I would always end up right back at home. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Really appreciate